project we're talking about today is the Citizens Bank third floor renovation. Spader has been tasked with the fire protection and the mechanical HVA system. The owner had a multi-use office space from a client who's renting this floor from them. A very unique thing is that normally on this style job, we would go down and use our scanning technology to create a, a 3D model of the space so that we can begin the design process on our end. In this particular instance, the owner has their own scanner and had already provided us with a scan of the space. Once that scan comes back in, uh, a point cloud is produced and we're able to export that point cloud from our Ferro scene software into our Revit design software. And Revit is where we actually bring in the 3D model that we received from the architect, import in the scan data into one spot, and then we begin to go in and start to lay out the ductwork. After that phase is done, we then do an export to our coordination software, which is Revisto. It's a program that actually allows you to see where there's clashes between whether it's architectural or whether it's structural to our duct. And then from there, you go back into Revit and you clean those clashes up. Revisto, we've been working with for two and a half to three years now. It's basically an interface with us and other people doing the same thing at the same time we are. It puts it to a more real world, real time situation where now you can see those changes as they're happening. And it's a document control center too, which is very nice so that if someone needs to do something, say you need someone to move something, you can make a note. They'll come back to it as soon as they open it up, they can see right away, hey, listen, Frankie needs me to change this or move this for him. And then you can go through the process of documenting it's in process, I'm making the change, if there's any issues with the change, things you had to do to make the change. So everything lives in that model. The next challenge that we faced was to try to come up with a workable design that's gonna meet codes to supply the owner with exactly what they want in a short amount of time. The owner then made the decision to go with a high efficiency system, a variable refrigerant flow. And that's gonna be what you would typically see like a ceiling cassette or a wall cassette. And that uses refrigerant to deliver both simultaneous heating and cooling to different spaces. So if one office wants to be cooler and another office wants to be warmer, instead of expelling that heat or creating that heat to take to the space, you're able to deliver it from one room to the next. So my challenges are manpower, uh, lead times on equipment, uh, being able to give a, a final product that uh, the owner likes. We do have a lot of manpower down there right now and we have to make sure that on the PM side I'm getting them what they need. We technically have three months of work in this area that we have to get done in two and a half, three weeks and we're able to do that because we designed it, we laid it out, and we were able to use the model to help us assist on that. What I like about a design build process is that we own it and the owner feels comfortable that we're drawing it, we're putting it in, we're maintenancing it. When you're able to deliver the things that they need in a very short amount of time on the budget that they want, that's what we're looking for, um, to that's what we're looking to develop with a customer.